Praise the Lord, this is Bishop John Arcovio coming to you from Santa Rosa, California. I want to share a really powerful prophetic word that was shared with me just recently. Um, it's on prophetic courage, a call to the prophetic Paul Revere's of this generation. And I thought this video blog was noteworthy and wanted to pass it on to all the different followers that follow Spirit Life Ministries and uh, our prophetic uh, journey that we're taking. With a convicted spirit and a heart full of compassion, I look across the Charles River in Boston, Massachusetts. This historic city known for her role in the narrative of our nation's revolutionary war chapter, love of sports, and birthplace of some of the world's leading educational institutions now stands recognized as another victim of mindless terror. Yet in this region, over 200 years ago, a man with the name of Paul Revere sounded an alarm, an alarm prompting the colonists to arise and confront tyranny by proclaiming the British are coming. Friends, we live in difficult times. From the Boston Marathon terror attack, to three girls held in hostage as sex slaves in Cleveland, to marriage under assault, and a doctor in Philadelphia arbitrarily terminating life, we live in an age of crisis, an age of spiritual tyranny. Forget Harry Potter and Hogwarts, via the conduit of biblical illusions. We know very well there are real spirits in the world today. The spirit of Pharaoh lives holding people captive in the Egypt of spiritual bondage and fear. The spirit of Goliath still exists, mocking and intimidating the children of God. The spirit of Jezebel still makes men and women hide in caves with sexual perversion and manipulation. The spirit of Absalom continues to divide homes, churches, and relationships, while the spirit of Herod kills the young through abortion, poverty, sex trafficking, murder, infant dreams, and visions. Excuse me, murdering, infant dreams, and visions. Yet in the midst of it all, there exists a spirit that's more powerful than all these spirits combined. We must tell the world that the most powerful spirit alive today is not the spirit of Pharaoh, Goliath, Jezebel, Absalom, or Herod. The most powerful spirit on the planet is none other than the Holy Spirit of Almighty God. For it's not by might, it's not by power, but my spirit, says the Lord, Zechariah 4 and 6. Accordingly, it's time for the oracles of righteousness to rise up. It's time for the prophetic voices to squelch the prophetic noises. It's time to declare to every narrative and spirit that facilitates the platform of moral relativism, spiritual apathy, cultural decadence, and ecclesiastical lukewarmness the following. For every Pharaoh, there must be a Moses. For every Goliath, there must be a David. For every Nebuchadnezzar, there must be a Daniel. For every Jezebel, there must be an Elijah. For every Herod, there must be a Jesus. For every devil that rises up against us, there's a mightier God that rises up for us. Behold, the Lamb of God. We understand that our generation must decide between pathetic complacency or prophetic courage. Christ followers, it's time to embrace the following truths. There exists, there exists no such thing as comfortable Christianity. Truth can, can never be sacrificed at the altar of political expediency. In addition, the number one problem in America is not moral relativism or cultural decadence. The number one problem in America is a lukewarm, complacent, and silent church. Finally, it's time for the 21st century prophetic Paul Revere's to rise up. It's time for the voices of righteousness and justice to sound an alarm. It's time for this generation to rise up and tell the world that spiritual tyranny will be confronted by prophetic courage. It's time to tell the world that the, not that the British are coming, but rather that Jesus is still saves, he still heals, he still delivers, he is, and believe it or not, will come back again. I felt this was a very powerful prophetic word for this hour because I believe the Lord is raising the prophetic voices of this hour for apostolic awakening, to speak to our churches, and to speak apostolic awakening into the lives of the lukewarm, complacent church. So I wanted to share this prophetic word that uh, originally was spoken by Samuel Rodriguez on May the 22nd. And I just want to share this, and I believe it's a word for this hour, and I want you to take it to heart, 
And thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. God bless you. We love you. Stay tuned. We'll be putting some more teachings and some more uh, preachings up on our YouTube site. And uh, if you want to hear our preachings, you can go to www.spiritledch.com. If you're on a mobile phone, www.spiritledwc.com. That's www.spiritledch.com and www.spiritledwc.com. Thank you for tuning in, and God bless you. Bishop Barcovio.